Halloween is over, the weather is shittier, and you can still put off the Christmas shopping. So, what's there to do in November? Well, there's two things to do. Get your peppermint mocha at Starbucks and watch some movies. Here's my top five must-see movies in November. Starting at number five, we have Dumb and Dumber 2. Yes, they are back. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels are back with a sequel to the much-loved Dumb and Dumber. It's been 20 years, yes, 20 years since the first one came out. Is it too little too late, though? I feel that it might be really bad and nowhere near as good as the first one, but the other side of me feels that Jim Carrey would not let this turn out to be a stinker. I guess we will soon find out. Coming in at number 4, we have another sequel, Horrible Bosses 2. Now, this one wasn't a 20 year gap like the previous movie, but do all signs point at a cash grab here? Could it turn out to be like Hangover 2? I don't think so. The entire cast is back, yes, even the sexy Jennifer Aniston, and the addition of Chris Pine and Christoph Waltz. This is surely going to be another great comedy. At number 3, we have Disney's Big Hero 6. What's not to love about this movie? It's an adaptation of a Marvel comic, albeit with some changes, but it's got a big, inflatable, lovable robot who is freaking hilarious based on the trailer. Well, I've seen the movie already, and don't worry, there's still a lot of hilarious scenes with the robot. Big Hero 6 is certainly going to be a hit with the kids, and don't worry adults, you'll love it too. Coming in at number 2, we have Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 of 100. Okay, it's Part 1 of 2. J-Law is back, of course, and so is everyone else. I can't say I'm excited for the Hunger Games, which I'm sure I shouldn't have said, but I did enjoy the last one, and I'm sure everyone is going to go gaga over part one. Taking in number one is Interstellar. Directed by the amazing Christopher Nolan, who brought us the awesome Batman trilogy, Interstellar looks visually appealing. With stars like Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, will Interstellar live up to the hype that comes with Christopher Nolan? And I guess now overpopular Matthew McConaughey? Time will tell, but as I have already caught a screener of it, all signs point to overhyped, but still good. That rounds up the top 5 must-see movies of November. Honorable mention goes to Foxcatcher, starring Channing Tatum and Steve Carell. I'm not sure if you've had a chance to see the trailer, but based on the trailer, Steve Carell could possibly get nominated for an Oscar for his performance. There you have it. What movie or movies will you be watching this month? If you liked my video, make sure to click the thumbs up below, and don't forget to subscribe.